Y'all, Apple introduced a lot at WWDC this year, and I am doing my very best to cover it all. Or, you know, being honest, to cover the things that interest me most. <laughs> In this video, what we're gonna be talking about is everything that you need to know about iOS 17. And in short, it's looking real good. All right, so something that's pretty cool that's coming with iOS 17 is personal contact posters. So what this is, is basically a custom call screen that will appear in which you would customize for yourself so that when you're calling someone else, they see that contact poster. It seems to be very much like the custom contact card that we currently have in which you can set for yourself you know, where you can change your photo and stuff like that so that when you message someone, they can choose to accept the contact card that you've made or not. This is basically the call screen version of that. So just as you would customize your lock screen and, you know, adjust the clock and the wallpaper and all of that, you can now do that for your call screen. But I like the fact that it's what you set for yourself, you know what I mean? So that when you're calling someone, they then see that call screen that you've made. I personally haven't heard of a feature on a phone like this before. Like I've heard of video call screens that, you know, you would make for someone else, but not one in which you make for yourself that appears on someone else's device. And for those of you that are concerned, you do have control over accepting or declining the call poster, just as you do with the contact card. Because sometimes some people that I, you know, have in my contacts, I like the photo that I have for them. You know, I don't want the one that they chose for themselves. Judge free zone, right? So I like the fact personally that I can choose to use the call screen that they've made or not because I, I may not want to. So you have the option to opt in or out. And the other thing that I found pretty cool with the contact poster is that you can make more than one. So just like you can make more than one lock screen, you can make more than one call posters. So for example, you might be celebrating something. You can make your call poster be something for your graduation or your birthday, or even if you wanna announce like maybe that you're pregnant or that you are engaged. That might be a little cute way, you know? You could thank me later for that, Jim, you know? But that might be a cute way to go about sharing with your friends and family those types of things. Another new feature that's coming to the phone app is live voicemail. So now when you send a call to voicemail, you'll be able to see a live transcript of the message. So you can choose to answer it or not before they hang up. Now I see this being very useful for moments where, you know, you might not be in a position to per se answer the phone, but uh, you might still be able to dip away if needed. You know, those little scenarios. Like if you're in a meeting or at work. I think you get me though. Basically after their call comes in, you'll see that live transcript appear on your phone and then you could choose answer to accept the call before they hung up. And just a little FYI, if you have the option to silence unknown callers, it would then basically send them directly to live voicemail without, you know, ringing you first. All right, now this next section, messages. This is one feature that I am so excited about. It's like a small thing, but a big thing. And that's the option to filter your searches. Do you know how many times that I just wanted to search within a message and I couldn't and I had to search my whole phone instead? Now I'm able to search within my messages within a certain conversation thread for a certain thing. Super clutch. So thank you, Apple. Thank you for bringing this to the phones now. <laughs> Something else that you'll notice that's gonna be new within your messages app is the way that we access things that we wanna share. Or you know, basically the little top bar that's above your keyboard, those things will now be accessed by hitting the plus symbol. And it's also within here that you'll find a new feature known as check-in. So I like this. I like this a lot, y'all. So you know those moments where you tell your friends or family members, you know, let me know when you make it safely and they forget. Now you can use the check-in feature to automatically notify them that you made it to your destination. But it's unique in the way that it works. So again, it only works within the messages. And once you initiate a check-in, you can designate where you're going and even if you have a stop on the way, because what happens is if you have a delay along the way, your phone is then going to prompt you to check in and let it know that you're okay. If you don't, within a certain amount of time, it'll then send information to your friend of things like your battery status, location, and other information that can also be customized upon setting up check-in. You know how you're out on that date and you send your friend that text that says, you know, check on your location, give them a heads up of what's going on? You can now just use check-in instead. Now another new feature that's coming is called catch-up. What that's gonna do for you is that within messages, it's going to jump to the first message that you haven't seen within your conversation. On top of that, we'll now also be able to just swipe to reply, which I personally prefer because gestures to me in most cases are better. And another thing that's coming is transcriptions for audio messages, which for me is gonna be very interesting because my friends like to leave 
five minute long messages. So I'm really curious to see how the transcription looks on that one. Like, is it gonna be the little three dots, you know, tap to read more? Cause I'm gonna have an essay. I love y'all though, you know, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Something else new within messages is going to be inline location. So if you're sharing your location with someone, you'll now see it within the um, conversation that you have with them. So under their contact name will be their location. You don't always have to go to a separate place to see where they are. Also things like stickers, they're now in one place. So you know how you can download different sticker packs and you have to tap on each one. They are now going to be consolidated into one location. And another neat thing that I found is that when you long press on a photo, you know how you normally can remove the background? You can now take that image and make it a sticker. And both of these things will be able to be used within messages. And these stickers are gonna be system wide, so you can then access them in apps like Instagram, which is to me gonna give you like another unique layer for um, like things like your IG stories. Now iOS 17 is also gonna introduce something known as name drop. So name drop is gonna let you airdrop your contact information. Not only can it work from iPhone to iPhone, but also from iPhone to Apple Watch as well. Now it's not only the new way to share contact information, it's also the new way to share information, period. To me, it's similar to NFC, like with the fact that the devices have to be near each other. But another thing that's different now as well is that you can leave the airdrop range. So before when you would airdrop something to someone, you had to stay near them, but now you'll be able to actually walk away and still continue the transfer of information. Also with iOS 17, there's something new known as shared activity. So for example, you'll now be able to like share a music playlist when you're with a group of people and you're doing something like going on a run. You basically have share play features within an airdrop setting. So you no longer have to just solely rely on messages to have this shared experience with people or relying on FaceTime to share play. You can now do those share play things basically by just being in proximity of those people. All right, now we're gonna talk about FaceTime. Y'all, I feel like there's so many things coming with iOS 17 and I am still not done with my list. But anyway, something that you'll notice different there with iOS 17 is the ability to leave live voicemail. So you know how you might FaceTime someone and they don't answer and you take that screenshot of your disappointment and you message it to them? You no longer have to do that. You can now leave them a live voicemail instead. But I'm sure there's still gonna be those of you that use the screenshot method, cause I don't know. I could see myself being one of those. And another cool thing with FaceTime is that you'll now be able to FaceTime from your Apple TV. This to me seems like something that should have been there. So I'm happy to see that it's there now. So how this will work is that you will use the camera from your iPhone, but the screen from your TV for FaceTime. You'll be able to do something like watch a movie together and have the FaceTime call on your TV screen as well. Now this is a feature to me that I am like excited about and that's known as standby. Now when you put your phone down, is going to give you actually useful information on your screen when it's placed down. To me, it then makes your phone like a home pod with a display. So for example, when it's in standby mode, you'll be able to get live activities in full screen. So then you can monitor something like the progression of your food delivery getting to you. Or you can see your Siri results at a glance. So I think this is gonna be useful. I don't know if it's just me, but those times where I ask Siri a real simple question, and she tells me to, you know, get my phone for that. Now I will have my phone for those scenarios. You'll also have access to things like your music, a slideshow of photos, calendar, something as simple as the clock. But either way, I'm happy to see this coming to the phone because it definitely to me gives me like smart speaker with a screen type vibe. All right, now this next one, interactive widgets. This is coming with iOS 17 as well where when you now tap on a widget, it will actually let you do something other than open the application for it. So widgets will then be interactive in a way where you can use something like your smart home widget to turn on and off your lights from your home screen. You would think it would be like that now, but now you'll be able to take action with just a tap. I'm gonna love this for like my to-do list. Now when I tap on it, it'll actually mark the item off without having to open the application to do so. It's the little things, you know, that make the big impacts. And with mindfulness and wellness in mind, I am happy to say that Apple is also introducing a journal application. So for my fellow day one users, we might be migrating. So with this, it's basically going to give you prompts either at the start of your day or at the end of your day, or maybe both, I don't know. 
but basically you'll get a prompt to kind of write down some of your thoughts and your feelings for the day. And I like this because it allows you to also import some of your photos and your videos that it has detected for the day. And not only can you detail your day with these photos, you can also use music and audio recordings. And another thing that I like is that it will create personalized suggestions of moments that it thinks that you might want to remember or write about, just all based on your photos, your music, your workouts, and things like that. Another feature that I am personally excited about is profiles within Safari. So you know how you can create tab groups now where you basically have like a work tab group and that tab group has all the tabs for work related things. And then you have a shopping tab group that has all of your windows for shopping. So now you can have something like a work profile and a personal profile within Safari. And this is gonna help separate your history, extensions, tab, tab groups cookies, and even your bookmarks. And this is a little one, but one that I, I really like as well, and it's autofill of verification codes that are sent to you via mail. So you know how you log into a website and they send you that verification code to your email, and then you have to go to your email, copy the code, go back to the website, you ain't gotta do that anymore. Well now autofill that information for you just as it would as if it sent it to you as a text message. I love this. Another change with iOS 17 is coming to CarPlay. And this is, yet again, another one that I'm excited about because you can now create like shared sessions within the car so that when you're riding with other people and you know, everybody wants to kind of chime in on what song is playing next. Now, once everybody's in the car and you initiate CarPlay with your phone, a QR code can appear on the screen or you can initiate a shared music session with the people in the car so that then when they want to suggest the song, it just auto adds to the Apple Music playlist. Game changer right here, y'all. But yeah, there's a lot, a lot of changes coming with iOS 17. And you know how it is. You know, these are only like some of the things that we know about, but there are other things that I'm sure are gonna be there as well because I don't think Apple actually talked much about photos in iOS 17. And you know, usually they really highlight some changes within that app. So I don't know, I'm just excited to find all the little Easter eggs and things that they didn't mention within the keynote within iOS 17, because I'm already excited about the things in which I do know. So the little hidden gems within there are gonna be nice little touches. But I've also done a video on the new MacBook Air and the new Vision Pro. So if you wanna check out some more content, you can click one of the videos that are appearing on screen right now. And until the next one, y'all, feel free to follow me on IG, TikTok, or Instagram at TechMeOut, T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. No, she says get your phone for that or unlock your phone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Siri be tripping.